Hi, my name is Alex. I'll be posting up videos about um, Algebra 1 for now. Um, this will be the same coursework as you learn um, in, the, in the United States because I'll be using the same textbook, the textbook actually what, what many teachers recommend, which is this book over here. It's um, Algebra Structure and Method. Um, it looks like this. You could buy it online Amazon and you could see the author if you click this one. Um, yeah this one exactly so I recommend buying this book and try to follow up with my lecture yeah so that I hopefully you'll be able to understand um, this concept over here um, so that's what I'm gonna do okay f um, today's lecture the when you look at the first page um, we're, I'm gonna talk about chapter one which is about introduction to algebra I'll say algebra 1 um, this is abbreviation for introduction algebra I'll not try to use uh, abbreviation a lot because some of you might get confused uh, a fundamental concept that you want to learn in algebra 1 is um, a variable So let's define variable according to our textbook over here. Um, it says this is a symbol. Used to represent um, one or more. numbers okay so this is the, mo the most important thing that you're gonna learn in chapter one so some of you might ask why do you use variables instead of numbers isn't it easier to write it in numbers because variables seem to confuse everyone but here's one example that that a practical example why world is, is using variables to represent things um, the example, let's say we have this candy over here and it costs three dollars each. So one candy co um, costs three dollars. If you want to represent this into a variable, I would say it will be three times C. And why did I do this? Because you don't know how many candies you're gonna buy, but then you could represent it as a variable C, so that which uh, how many um, candy, however candies you want, you could put it over here. And if you put that number, number of candies you want over here, then you'll get the total cost, the total amount that you're gonna spend for certain amount of candies right here. So this is a really if, if, um, an efficient expression and a function over here. It could represent as 3C is equals to the total cost. Okay, so um, we're going to move on to um, examples in the book. We'll do more examples as we go. Let's see. Um, it says example number one. Let's do that first. So example number one. It says to simplify each expression. So simplify. The first um, expression is a is a forty two divided by six plus eight. Okay. So you have to do what's in the bracket first. Um, and let's do the bracket first. So forty two divided by six equals seven. You replace this number over here with this one over here so you will get um, 7 plus 8 the answer will be 15 and for the second part of it it's gonna be 54 divided by 8 minus 2 so you have to do the bracket again it's gonna be 54 divided by 6 is equal to what is this um, this is equal to 9 so these are the answers 
for the example number one. So before I move on to example number two, I want to talk about the priorities in algebra. So you will see many expressions in algebra. The first priority will be doing the bracket. So it's this one and this one. Whenever you see any of these brackets, you do these first. But you do this one first. I'll talk about that later. So second one, second class, I would say, will be multiplication and division. And third, addition and subtraction. So I would say bracket, they're the highest class. Whenever you see the bracket, you do it first. And the second is multiplication and um, division. And third, addition and subtraction. But here's another example. What if you are in a situation where you have this bracket over here? And then you see another bracket inside here. What you do is that according to the rule of algebra, you have to do what's inside first, inside bracket first. That's going to be 6 plus 3 and you're left with this bracket and you do this bracket you'll get 9. So I'll do more examples. So what if there are multiplication um, and division over here? So what do you do first? Do you do this one first, this one first? Um, when you're within the, the same class, this is class number two, right? I said class number two has um, multiplication and division. You have to do this one first in order. So whenever you are in the same class, you have to do it in order. So if you do this first, you'll get 18 over here. And divide by 3, you will get 6. I mean, um, yeah, that's what um, mathematicians recommend to do. And having this in mind, I'm going to move forward to example 2 in the textbook. Um, it says to evaluate each expression. So at this time, they are giving a variable, which is a equals 5. This is given. And then with this given, you have to solve, uh, evaluate 7a. With a practical example that I gave you, this could be um, number. This could be a price, and this could be a number of um, candies, chocolates, or whatever. So if if they are given that, oh, I want to have five candies. So how much would it cost? They will be just um, putting inside um, five inside a over here. And if you do that, it's gonna be thirty-five. The answer will be thirty-five mathematically, but practically. What I re want you to think about is that it's, it's $7, but you're buying a five candies. So I if you want to buy five candies, it's going to cost you $35. This is how you want to think about, because you have to make a practical application um, for everything. Otherwise, there's no point in learning this, right? So the other example will be 3A plus... Two, so in the same way, you gotta plug in a over here, which which would be um, three times five plus two. According to my priorities, so you have to do this one first, right? So it's gonna be fifteen plus two is equal to seventeen. Okay, and yeah, I'm gonna move on to example three. Example 3 in the textbook is, is saying that evaluate this expression. It got a little bit complicated because it has two variables now. Okay, This one's in the bracket. And they're given x is equal to 12 and y is equal to 9. So in the same way, you just got to plug in numbers over here because you know what variable. Because they have decided how many box of candies or whatever candies they want. So once they decided, you could plug in numbers here. So if you plug in those numbers, what happened? You have to do the bracket first according to my priorities. It's going to be um, 12 
and if you do the multiplication because they're above subtraction that's gonna be 60 minus 12 and if you do this one you're gonna get 48 so that's it for my video today um, if you guys have any questions please um, post it up thank you so much